adding gas data to the fluid database and the gas data calculator. In this video, we'll be looking at how to add your own compressible gas fluid data to the Pipeflow Expert fluid database. So let's first open up the fluid data screen by clicking the fluid data button on the toolbar here and selecting change fluid from the pop-up menu. Previously, we saw how to add fluid data for a non-compressible liquid by specifying various properties of the fluid. You can similarly add gas data to the database by specifying temperature, pressure, density, viscosity, and specific heat ratio, ensuring that the fluid state here is selected as gas. You'll notice when gas is selected, there is a button that appears on the density input with the letters SG. Here, SG stands for specific gravity and refers to the relative density of the gas when compared to dry air at a temperature of 20 degrees C and a pressure of one atmosphere. Clicking here opens the specific gravity helper, which can aid you in calculating the density for a specific temperature and pressure condition. But now, let's return back to the fluid data screen. We are also provided with a gas data calculator tool, which can be accessed by clicking the Calculate Gas Data button here. If the fluid you are using is one of the most common gases, both the viscosity and density of the gas can be calculated at various temperatures and pressures. Pipeflow software also provides a mobile application called Pipeflow Gas Ref, which is a simple, easy to use utility program, which enables you to perform these same gas property calculations from your iPhone and iPad. Visit pipeflow.com or search Pipeflow Gas Ref in the Apple App Store for more details. You can choose your compressible fluid from the wide range of commonly used gases in this drop-down list. Let's select methane, for example. We will enter a temperature of 15 degrees Celsius and a pressure of, say, 4.15 bar gauge. Clicking Calculate Gas Data will display the density, viscosity and specific heat ratio for methane at these conditions. We are then given options to either save as current fluid, which will allow you to quickly use this data in the current model, or save to fluid database. Let's save this data to the Pipeflow Expert database. Any fluid properties added or calculated by the user can be identified within the fluid database by this yellow user label. Once the data has been added, it is then available to be used again and again. Thanks again for watching this Pipeflow Expert quick tip tutorial video. Download your free trial of Pipeflow Expert today at www.pipeflow.com.